Hello, my friends. It is time for the Mountain Gorillas. So a lot of you who follow my channel know that I was recently in Rwanda and I was invited over by the tourism board to go on a trip of a lifetime. And the goal of that trip was to promote Rwanda as a cycling destination. And that's what I did. That was the main part of the trip. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. But we also got to do some other fun stuff like visit the mountain gorillas. And this is something that I'd wanted to do for a long time. I remember watching Gorillas in the Mist when I was a young boy, and that movie was incredibly powerful. Universal Pictures and Warner Brothers present Sigourney Weaver, Brian Brown, in the true story of one woman's incredible courage. So I want to give you some quick facts about the mountain gorillas. They are definitely endangered. There's only about a thousand left in the wild and they live in a small region of Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. And the reason why they're so endangered is essentially from human encroachment. Their habitat is shrinking. But luckily, the population of the mountain gorillas is slowly increasing, and that's because there has been so much emphasis on conservation. Just to do what I did costs $1,500, so it's a lot of money. But most of that money goes to conservation, and they price it so high to control the tourism numbers. Mountain gorillas share 98% of our DNA. They're one of our closest living relatives. When we were out there, we had to put on masks because we can give them even a cold or other illnesses. They live in family groups. We visited the Muhosa family, and I don't want to give away too much here because we'll get into the actual trek, but they're vegetarians. They live at high altitude, kind of like me, <laughs> and they're super cute. So let's get to it. This area is absolutely incredible. It's the rainy season, so everything is green, green, green. Let's call Buffalo Man. Because you see he has, uh, okay. uh, has guns, so this is really uh, a way of uh, protecting us and time the uh, buffalo are becoming aggressive. So, so the we, gun is for buffalo? Yeah, we scare them. We don't shoot them, we scare them. Perfect. And then inside here, Walk slowly, slowly until we get to the girls. For break, we'll be creating more breaks, and then after break, you keep going. And then talk as well, but you better talk in a whisper uh, because you might have a chance of seeing the other animals. And in order not to scare them, we talk in a whisper. Uh, the maximum time you spend with the girls it's one hour. After the hour, we come back and then you keep a distance. So, probably I would say beyond seven meters. But the gorillas, they don't know about the distance. Sometimes they come close to you. So if they come close to you, what do you do? We try to step backward, eh? slowly, slowly. Anytime one touch you, don't touch back to the gorillas. Because uh, if you touch the silver bag, the mom can think maybe you know something bad to the, to the baby. So don't do that. And take pictures as you want, but no flash. Because the flash might, uh, might uh, mm. frighten the gorillas. And once you are there, we are together try to avoid staying separately and uh, I know you can be excited so don't point at the gorillas maybe you can say uh, Susie look when you say look it's a kind of they, they think you have something that you want to throw at them so yeah. don't do that and you look in the eye but you don't stare too much because by staring they may wonder why is this man looking at me like mm. that and then they may be scared by being scared they shout if they shout everybody's coming to see What's happening? Mm. So, which is not good. Don't run away, because if you run away, you add him more confidence, and he can run after you. Mm -hmm. So preliminary, these girls are very smart. Before they do anything, there is like some signs that they give us. It's like an allotment, and then we get prepared. And then after, if we tell you to squat down, be flexible. You squat down, and then you submit be uh, really submissive in front of them and then the gorillas recognize that otherwise if you run he may run after you 
and then it may kick you but stay there if i tell you to squat down you do that but generally before they do anything by eating they're eating they don't have any problem they don't mind we are there and after seeing by facial expression body language and vocalization you start seeing them shaking the body trying to do some small movement and uh, they produce the sound mm. Mm. when the trunk to touch the leaves plant like this start making this is what happened and then already that's when tell you please you kneel down don't look in the eye you submit and we make the sound we talk <clears throat> we should do that if you are good at the other one <laughs> you can do that <clears throat> which means everything's okay we are under a submission and already the silverback may come pretty close to you you are down he's taller than everyone he's just moving around and he may even pass because he knows everything is okay he may pass like this he gives you a small push like this and then he goes but pushing it's not an aggressive way mm -hmm. just for fun once he touch, <laughs> maybe you you may fall down but it's not really his intention to <laughs> okay to do something bad here So our guide has told us that there are also elephants in here and water buffalo and golden monkeys. So we might see some of that as well. And the really cool thing about this is sometimes when you go on a safari, you don't know if you're going to see what you want to see. You might want to see a lion, but you're just not going to see it. But out here, you're guaranteed. And that is because they have trackers working all morning, tracking the gorillas. And he's in touch with them on the radio and they will be calling him soon to tell him exactly where the family of gorillas are. for about 30 minutes but he said they they're right over there right like over there <laughs> I can't believe it seems they really in a very good mood this is a lesson time <laughs>
it. So you get to see this every day? Yeah, every day, for the next <laughs> few days, every time. Special things with the gorillas. Yeah. Every like time you see just new things. <laughs> yeah, even if once you go back there, you can find something new. So every time excited. Yeah. I can honestly say that that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. And we just walked right up on them. I thought they might be a little spooked like other animals get, but they did not care at all that we were there. And it was fascinating to see the little ones playing with each other and rolling around and having a good time. And then the silverback just chilling, straight up chilling. <laughs> He's the boss. And then when he moves, everybody moves. But what I really enjoyed was all the cuddling going on. I'm a big fan of cuddling and they just sit and cuddle and groom each other and uh, you know they share 98 percent of our dna they're pretty similar to us you know maybe more than anything i loved watching them just play i loved watching the little ones play wrestling goof around and <laughs> annoying their parents just like us they're so similar to us <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 